Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss how we can use Chat GPT 4 for free. So normally if you go on a Chat GPT open AI.com URL, you would be able to see like you are free to use Chat GPT 3.5, but wherever when you want to move to use Chat GPT 4, there is one of the upgrade plan which is available on a chat gpt website itself which says like you would have to first pay 20 dollar per month and then only you will be able to use chat gpt plus okay so there is one good news like it is not required to pay 20 dollars per month to use chat gpt 4 so in case if you would like to use chat gpt for free there is another url which you will have to move on that is chat dot open but yeah so once you go and try to use this it would first prompt you for login to login you can use your google account the way i am using it so this is my account i'm going to log in using the same google account this will let me take on the chat.forefront.ai URL. Here it would tell something about what this forefront.ai is. So it's saying like it's meet your new AI assistant. So this is going to be one of the AI assistant which you can use. And once you click on get started, you would get for personal information, like uh, how you would like to use it. Is it for the personal? For the team use so i'm going to use it for personal then i'm going to continue which uh, color style you would like to use so there are normally two modes of label one is dark and light i would proceed with light then it would also give you like if you want to use upgraded uh, plans i would like to go for free okay. once we are done on that it would ask if you would like to follow on twitter or join discord i said okay i am not going to do it right now then next you are going to see like uh, what are all the things which you can do using forefront.ai so this is powerful ai models personas in case if you want to create chat with files you can go and read it out more of the information in case if you are interested then i go and click on the open forefront once I go and click on the open forefront, by default prompt which I get, that is of the chat uh, GPT 3.5. And next to that, I can also see like chat GPT 4 is also available. So there are more of the options available, which we can discuss later on. But right now we are going to focus how we can use chat GPT 3.5 and chat GPT 4. So if I'm going to use first chat GPT 3.5, it is same, but we have on the URL that is chat.openai.com. So this is the same prompt behavior which we are going to get. I would be, I can write anything here. So let's simply write what is chat GPT. You would see like there would be one of the response which would be created and that has got created using chat GPT 3.5. So just click on the chat GPT-4 and now type in something, the same question that is, what is chat GPT again? This is just a, a example prompt to check like from where the response is being created. So earlier we saw like chat GPT-3.5 was used. Right now we are seeing like chat GPT-4 is used. So this is how you can you use chat gpt4 for free and start exploring more of the testing if you have any specific use case regarding chat gpt4 you can start using it in this way there are several reasons which can make you upgrade from chat gpt3.5 to chat gpt4 like if you would like to get multilingual support if you would like to get some of the visuals if you would like to integrate some of the urls there are between chat gpt 3.5 and chat gpt 4 for learning that i am going to create another video please subscribe thank you for watching